Welcome to this talk about Rails Engine with .NET from tutorialer.com slash talks. .NET is the free and modern open source cross-platform framework from Microsoft that enables developers to build applications and services for cloud, web, desktop, mobile, gaming, IoT, and AI. .NET has improvements and new features each year, with even-numbered long-term releases supported for three years and odd-numbered short-term releases supported for 18 months. .NET with C-Sharp is also updated each year. There's an open-source programming language for modern software development with support for type safety, asynchronous programming, and more. .NET allows developers to build applications for any device and platform, such as Windows, Linux, Mac OS, iOS, Android, and more. Find out more about .NET, including the latest version of .NET, which comes with the latest version of C-Sharp, by visiting .NET. That's D-O-T dot .NET. Console apps allow .NET developers to create command line applications that run on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Console apps have data streams to show outputs such as messages and error messages or exceptions to users. Console apps also have a data stream to allow a user to input data, such as keyboard input. Console apps are designed for single window utility applications for command prompt. Install .NET Desktop Development Workload for Visual Studio to create console apps. Blazor allows developers to use the power of .NET and c -sharp to build full-stack web applications without writing any JavaScript. Blazor is a modern front-end framework with components based on HTML, CSS, and c -sharp for building web applications. Blazor components can be hosted in browser with WebAssembly, server with ASP.NET Core, or native applications. Install ASP.NET and Web Development Workload for Visual Studio to create Blazor web, server, or hybrid apps. Find out more about Blazor by visiting blazor.net. What is a Rails Engine? Rails Engine is a system that allows a set of actions to be defined that are based on specific conditions in an application. Those specific conditions could be configured at runtime without needing to change business logic in an application. When creating implementations of functionality, code is often coupled to use cases present at the time of development. Requirements can or will change, so it can create an implementation that remains the same regardless of use cases. Rules engines allow you to consolidate business logic if you need the same conditional rules in different places. Rules engine will perform the task of checking any inputs against one or more rules in an application. Rules are a business policy with a set of triggers, conditions, and effects applied by the Rules engine. Triggers determine the context where a rule should be performed or where it should be used. Conditions contain logic to perform checks on the input that either pass or fail. Effects are outcomes when any rules are triggered and conditions pass. Let's look at an implementation of a Rules engine with .NET. Microsoft Rules Engine is a highly extensible open source .NET library for building rule based systems. Microsoft Rules Engine supports JSON based rules using extensive dynamic C -sharp expressions. Microsoft Rules Engine supports multiple input and dynamic object input. Microsoft Rules Engine can be extended with class or type injection. For more information, visit github.com forward slash Microsoft, forward slash Rules Engine. Microsoft Rules Engine defines rules using C-sharp Lambda expressions that can be evaluated with one or many input values that if returned true will pass or if returned false will fail. Rules can also be provided with functionality such as helper methods or custom types, and a collection of rules can then be used together in a workflow. Rules such as minimum days rule can be used to check the registration date of a user and minimum age rule can ensure a user is over a certain age. Rules such as is subscription tier premium rule can check the subscription tier of a user with a custom type as the expected value. Microsoft Rules Engine can then execute all rules in a workflow, and then you can use a link expression to evaluate the results. 
Batteries can then be used to encapsulate one or more workflows to be executed for the Rails engine. Microsoft Rails engine, once the execution is completed and gone through all the rules in the workflows, then the output will be a collection of real result tree models. Real result tree model contains the rule if it has passed, any child rule results, and inputs being checked, along with any exceptions that occurred for a rule. You can control the flow of an application by proceeding on the outcome of any rule that returns success or when all rules return success. Let's look at a demo of using the Microsoft Rules Engine with .NET. OK, here's our solution for the demo. It has a couple of applications, some class libraries, and even some unit test projects. Let's take a look at the Rules Engine.Microsoft project. Within this are some workflows and some rules. The first workflow is the is eligible for content workflow, which has two rules, the minimum days rule and the is subscription tier premium rule. And the is eligible for prize workflow, which has the minimum age rule. The minimum age rule takes advantage of a helper class that will be injected in and takes advantage of its helper method of get age to get the age of the user. The minimum days rule will also use the helper class with its helper method of get days to work out the registration date of a user. And finally, there's the is subscription tier premium rule. And this will check to see if the subscription tier of a user is the premium one. We also have some factories. The eligible for content factory uses the is eligible for content workflow but it could also take advantage of multiple workflows. The eligible for prize factory takes advantage of the eligible for content factory and uses the is eligible for prize workflow. Finally, we actually register the Microsoft Rules engine itself and we inject in the custom types, which are the helper class and subscription tier, which I can show in the rulesengine.common project. The subscription tier is just an enum with either basic or premium. And the helper class contains the helper methods of get age to work out that user's age and get days to work out when they registered. The next thing is the applications that we have. So there's a console application. So let's have a look at that. So this application will basically display some information to the user. It will welcome the user once they're logged in, and then it will check to see if they're eligible for content. So we go to the implementation of that. That will use the eligible for content factory against the user model to see if they're able to get that content. Or the next thing it does is do the is eligible for prize, and that will evaluate the user's model against the eligible for prize factory. Then if they are able to see a prize, there'll be a view prize method, which will display that they're eligible for the prize and whether they want it or not. And then we just have some other methods to display the output to the application, as well as get the answer. And then we can see the actual content here, but actually being able to see the content and being able to get the prize. So let's run that application now. So it's got a simple application. I can log in as a premium user and see the content, but it'll also allow me to get a special prize. I can say yes, and I'll get the special prize. I can also log into a recent user. So this user registered before the period that they would qualify for that content, so they're unable to see it. And I can also log in as a registered user. So this user has registered after the period of time, but does not subscribe to premium, so it still can't see the content. We can also have different users, different age. So a young premium user can see the content, but they don't qualify for seeing the prize. So if we have a look at the constants here, we can see the date of birth minimum age. So if the minimum age of the user is 24, or less, they're unable to get the prize. If their registration date is up to 30 days, they'll be able to see the content. But if it's within that, whether they're premium or not, they won't be able to see any content. We can have different rules in a real application, of course. Let's take a look at the Blazor application. 
So in this application, we have again an application class. And this will control what the logged in user would see. This is eligible for content and is eligible for price check, just like in the console application. So what I'll do is I'll set that as startup and we'll run the Blazor application. So let's see what the Blazor application looks like. So this should load our browser and this will load a Blazor WebAssembly application where we can log in. Log in with our premium user again. And this user can see all the content and they can also see the special prize. They can claim the prize as well. And we can log out. I can also see the list of users who can log in. So you can see their dates of birth and their registration date. That gives you an idea of why they might be able to see the content or not. So I can log in with that young premium user. And the young premium user can see the content, but is unable to see the prize because they're not old enough to get that. I can also log in as a recent user which is unable to see the content at all. And that's it. And that was a demo of the Microsoft Reels engine using a console application and a Blazor application. .NET is the open source cross-platform framework from Microsoft for building modern applications or services for any device or platform. Reels engine allows a set of actions to be defined based on specific conditions within an application. Rules can then be evaluated to see when conditions, which could be configurable, are met. Outcomes can then be performed in an application once any conditions have been met. Developers can leverage existing Rules Engine, such as Microsoft Rules Engine Library. Thanks for taking the time to listen to this talk about Rules Engine with .NET from tutorial.com talks. Here you can find links to the resources used in this talk.